Okay, here we are back again. So this time I'm going to show you how to make your description fields look really nice and snazzy like this one here. Uh, the normal description fields for a JIRA ticket are just empty, just a bit of white space, uh, not very appealing, but we can make them look like this really easily with different field values in there in nice bright colors. So how do we do that? It's actually really simple. So we go to a backlog, go to your backlog, uh, down the left hand side here, we go to project settings down here, down the bottom, click on project settings, find our way to automation, click on automation. And if you're a bit, if you're a bit terrified of automation, it can be a bit scary to look at, but it's, uh, but this particular one especially is very easy to do. So you might, you might get a, uh, a menu that looks like this. If we click over here on rules, you see just under automation here where my mouse is, it says rules. So click on this and this is where we can now set up our new rule. So up in the top right hand corner here, we click on create rule. And we have lots and lots of options here of all the things that we can do. So the thing that we want to do is we want to when an issue is created, we want to add these fields into the, into the description field or these subfields, if you like. We want to add this template fields into the description field. So the first thing we, we do is click on issue created. So it's it's a trigger. The, the first one is a trigger. How does it know what we want to do? So issues created. Yep. So we click on save. So now it will trigger when we create the issue. Now. Do we want this to be for all tickets or just some tickets? We can have different templates for, maybe you want a different one for a story to the template you want for a bug. You might want two different ones. In that case, you put a condition. So here we have a new condition. So we just click on that and we add a condition. And this is the one I use, issue fields condition. Give that a click. And under the top one here, we can choose which which field we want. So in this case, it's the issue type. I'm going to make this template for a story issue type. So we click on issue type, condition equals, or you can have is one of, um, maybe you want it for, let's do it for a story or a task. So I'll have is one of. So the issue type is one of, click on the value here so it can be a task, click on it again, and choose story. So now we have here the issue field condition when the issue type is one of a task or a story. So it will trigger under both of those, those issue types. And then our final thing is to put an action. So we click on new action here. Um, where do we go? Edit issue. This is the one we want here is edit issue. So we click on that. Now this, the edit issue, you can you can edit any field you like that's that's on there. But in our case, we want to edit the description field because that's where we want our nice colored boxes to be. So we tick on the description and, and it doesn't, it, 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 it stays open. So just click on some white space outside it after you've clicked there. And um, there's some text here, which I will somehow attach to this video somehow or other. This is the text that we want to add and we can um, edit this if we want to. So this is going to add into our description box. So issue description template added by automation. It's just to tell people that, that the automation thing did it. So the title equals context. So the first, the top box we're going to have is going to say context. The second box that we're going to have on the page will be a value and the third box in the description field will be acceptance criteria. So they're the three boxes that it's going to put in there. Um, then we click on save and we give it a name. What, sh what should we call it? Uh, template to populate description field, story and task. Uh, it's good if you can have descriptive um, titles because if you have a whole list of automations, you want to be able to quit quite quickly and easily see which one they are. Uh, click on the turn it on button and there you go. That should work. So let's go to our backlog now. Okay, now we go to our backlog 
Now that floor is here and let's create a new ticket. So new issue, it's green, so it's a story type and we'll just put test ticket 48. I don't know. And click on enter and it's been created. So if we just click then into the ticket, there we go. There's our beautiful, pretty new boxes uh, on on our description field. And it's that simple. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time.